Telling time. Every clock has two thick needles. They are known as the hands of the clock. The shorter one indicates the hour and is called the hour hand. The longer one indicates the minutes and is called the minute hand. If you look carefully, there are many small divisions between the numbers of the clock. There are five equal divisions between any two numbers. The total number of such equal divisions in the clock is 60. Each division represents a minute. One full circle through the clock covers 60 minutes, that is, one hour. Look at this clock. The hour hand is at 4 and the minute hand is at 12. So the time is 4 o'clock. Now look at this clock. The hour hand is at 11 and the minute hand is at the sixth divisions from 12. So the time is 11 hours and 6 minutes. Reading time We just learned that there are 60 minutes in one hour. This means that there are 30 minutes in half an hour. An hour is completed when the minute hand completes one full circle from 12 to 12. When it completes half a circle from 12 to 6, half an hour is completed. When the minute hand is between 12 and 6, the time is read as so many minutes past the hour. For example, suppose the hour hand is at 10 and the minute hand is at 4. Between 12 and 4, there are 20 divisions. This means 20 minutes are completed after 10 o'clock. This time is read as 20 minutes past 10. When the minute hand is between 6 and 12, the time is read as so many minutes to the next hour. For example, suppose the hour hand is at 8 and the minute hand is at 9. Between 9 and 12, there are 15 divisions. This means after 15 minutes, it will be 9 o'clock. This time is read as 15 minutes to 9. AM and PM Your mother wakes up at 5 o'clock in the morning. You go out to play at 5 o'clock in the evening. It means the clock strikes 5 twice in a day. Once in the morning and once in the evening. This is true of every hour in the clock from 1 to 12. It is so because there are 24 hours in a day.